sell my vlog, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Paloma, and I am currently playing Elle Woods in a production of Legally Blonde, and we are quickly, quickly approaching opening night. I wish I had a pause button to just quickly stop time currently because it is going so fast and it is so fun, and I'm just trying to soak it up as much as I can. I find myself in rehearsal just standing there looking around at like my castmates and just taking like a moment in, and yes, I still swell up with tears every single day. I still cry on my drive to rehearsal sometimes because I'm so overwhelmed with the excitement and the gratitude and I catch myself being like please stop crying like you're gonna dehydrate yourself on the way to this dance rehearsal but I just can't help it it's a dream come true and I'm gonna start crying so I'm gonna stop about that here there's gonna be time for that we will be moving into the theater in one week so we are currently still in our rehearsal space rehearsal has been a little bit of everything just putting act one and act two together trying it with props we do have an intimacy director for this show and I haven't had the opportunity to work with her just yet but that is scheduled this weekend so any intimacy moments that need to be worked out with our intimacy coach have not been worked on just yet so we're just kind of like marking it and just like holding for certain places don't want to give any spoilers Obviously having that intimacy coach to make sure that every single cast member that's involved of any sort of intimacy in this show is feeling comfortable and confident. And I'm really excited to work with her. I've never worked with an intimacy director before, which is a little uh, kind of a red flag because I have done this show before and other shows where there is definitely intimacy involved. So I'm so, so excited to have that care that actors need before and after those scenes. And as much as I am so, so looking forward to moving into the theater and all that magic that comes with that. I am trying to still be present with us still being in the space and where we are at now. It's really easy to get caught up in like, oh my gosh, opening night's coming, but then opening night comes and it feels like you blink and it's over. And just taking those last minutes of pinching myself, this is really happening. Take a look around, soak this up. Just got home from rehearsal and about to ice my ankle. I haven't given you an ankle update just yet. While this baby is icing, I felt like I should let you guys know what happened. About over a week ago, I think that I did not tie my shoes properly and they were such a high platform that I rolled my ankle and then I kept re-rolling my ankle in the same place. And so I've been wearing high top vans to help support my ankle at rehearsal and I have been icing it every single night. Not for it to sound a little bit more chaotic, but I did the other night like feel like a pop back into place situation and I felt like a lot of relief. So I'm not sure if I just sprained it or if I put it out of place. The point is I did pop whatever pop needed to pop and the crazy thing is I was wearing sneakers because I thought that that would help rather than wearing the boots so I could learn the dance moves in my sneakers and then transfer but I decided to wear Nike sneakers that were super platform and then not tie my shoe really well like I was just slipping my feet in. So obviously some platform shoes that are not tied correctly and you're dancing you're gonna roll your ankle so I did but starting this weekend I think I'm gonna be switching back into the boots for the rest of the run at the rehearsal space and then obviously when we get to tech it's gonna be boots 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 so just obviously every night icing it and then strengthening it by rolling it left and then rolling it right and all that good stuff I told you I was worried about my ankle It is very early in the morning. This is the first time I'm actually using my voice. We are at another weekend rehearsal and we are running the show again. We only have about two more of those opportunities to run through the entire show in our rehearsal space. We're heading to the theater soon, so we are just trying to get as many runs in our rehearsal space now as possible. So we are trying to add as many elements before we get to the theater, so when we get to the theater, we can focus on the tech. And today, I am going to be in my nude bodysuit, nude shorts. I'm gonna add my nude tights on. I'm gonna be trying on some costumes today. Once we're done with the entire run through, we are having one hour of Elle try on. Elle has so, so many looks. She changes, honestly, at least 10 times in the show. And I have to like sit down and like write out exactly where all my changes are going to be because there's so much changing on the side of the stage, on stage. Like I don't even have time to like head back to the dressing room and change. Like I'm just changing on the fly, which is why I have my nude. I'm gonna just be ripping clothes on and off. And I need to just start centering myself and put my head on because running from top of show to the end and it's exciting. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Yeah. Three kids have 
Slippers, cute. So I go from my pearl heels to this pearl one. Heels. Named this on my thing. Like she's eating Milky Ways. <laughs> slicked back in a bun and covered in coconut oil. I just received this stuff in the mail this morning and my scalp needed some support. So we are doing some coconut oil today and I'm trying to hide my little pile over here. I have been creating a little pile of stuff that needs to go with me to the theater. So I'm thinking once I get out of the shower, it is time to start packing for the theater. I just have like little clusters of things that I need to take and piles everywhere. So it's time to start packing that theater bag. This is the kind of stuff I do when I travel. I just make piles of stuff I need to take, but don't put it in the bag, so. Just got out of the shower. I rinsed my scalp of the coconut oil and I only left it in my hair for like 15, 20 minutes. And I can already feel like the cooling relief of the coconut. I usually throw in head and shoulders into my shampooing routine every so often, but my hair is just so flaky and I wonder if it's from the stress. Does stress cause your scalp to like get really dry and flaky? Because if so, that's probably the cause because I can't think of anything else that would cause my scalp to get so dry. It's time to fill up my theater bag. This is my base bag. I want to be 100% honest with you. I don't recommend this bag for longer than a night. It is called an overnight bag, but there's a reason why they call it an overnight bag. Not much stuff fits in this bag. And so I often have to take more than one bag because this bag opens like this. So a lot of stuff fits in it. But then when it's time to zip, you have to close it up kind of like a toolbox. And so then you lose so much of the space. I personally know because I never can zip this bag. I always walk around with my bag open like this. But what I do like about this bag is that under here, there is an entire compartment so you can put your shoes in there and it's not like touching all the clothes, which I very, very much appreciate. As well as this little thing right here, I always lose my keys within my bag and I'm always just digging and digging. So attaching my keys to this thing has been really helpful. As I'm noticing, my shoes are still in here. I took this bag with me to Dear Media and when I took it to Dear Media, I wasn't able to zip it and I just had like a couple of clothes, so just saying. I'm gonna be packing my dance shoes, which Capezio girls rise up. One day, hopefully, I can own a pair of Leducas. I remember when I got these, I loved how they had like a T-strap on them and I was like, they look like the Leducas. So these are my dupe Leducas for the meantime. I'm also gonna be packing my black character heels, but I first have to locate them first. And then the rest of the shoes that are gonna be for the costumes are already at the rehearsal space. So I bought these a while back. I was gonna wear them for callbacks and I just never got to putting them on. And I am considering using them for the show, but I might just paint them. I might get acrylics. I don't know, I'm in between. I still don't know, but I'm gonna pack them just in case. I bought a fresh pack of Grether's Pastilles. This is the big pack that I told you about that I get from Amazon. These are my honey loquat candies that I also bought in bulk from Amazon. I love these. There's like, you suck on them and then when you get to the center, there's the honey loquat that's so refreshing for the throat. Alcohol wipes, obviously wipe down all my surfaces. Also bought some Zycam that I have readily available. This, I've never used this product before. Everyone speaks so highly of Zycam and how it helps shorten your cold. So if at any moment I'm starting to feel like, ooh, I can feel like something settling in. I'm feeling a little weird. What is that? I can get out the Zycam and swab the nose and it helps helps stop the cold in its tracks allegedly. I've never used it before, but I'm excited to. I'm hoping that I won't eat it this time, but just have it handy just in case. I also got these honey loquat herb sticks. I love anything honey loquat, so I wanted to try it out. And the honey loquat is just like so great for the throat and health. So I'm gonna try these out and I'll let you know. I'm trying out this e.l.f. primer. I usually am very bad and don't use a primer on my makeup. I should work on that, but I just never have taken that step to buy a primer. And I'm very aware that I'm going to be so sweaty and there's gonna be just 
so much going on that I needed to stay in place. So I am trying out the e.l.f. grip primer. I've heard great stuff about it. I will let you know how this works as well. I'm hoping it's good for sensitive skin. I also ran out of makeup, so I ordered a brand new tube. I also am packing up some ribbon because when I move into my dressing room, I want to make it cute a little bit and perhaps coquettify it. So I'm packing up some white little ribbon and some pink ribbon. Just try to make it a little homey when we get to the theater. The next item is a gift from my grandparents. They sent me a sweet bag for my script and so I can take it to rehearsal. It says, being true to yourself never goes out of style. And in between it says, I'm so much better than before. It's probably gonna be the tote that I'm going to pack in the big bag. So when I leave the theater for like little moments, I can have my cell phone and all like the little stuff in my little tote here. Thank you, Grandma and Papa. I love you guys so much. Also, we'll be tossing in this little bag that has all my toiletry type stuff. Hair ties, hairbrush, earplugs when I'm overstimulated, lotion, face towel, just in case if I need to wash my face quickly in between shows. I do have a double one of the day, so I might like wash my face off after the first show and then reapply the makeup fresh for the night show. My inhaler, which I should have been taking this to rehearsal the entire time. I There has been a couple times where I was like, I could really use my inhaler. I also have some Listerine and a bunch of individual Zyrtex. Fun fact, I actually am allergic to dogs and during the show I will be around two pups, which it's okay if I take my daily pill, I should be good. But if I didn't, I will be sneezing and that will affect my throat and stuff like that. So I have started taking a daily pill for allergies starting now. And last but not least, my makeup bag. Are you seeing how it starts getting pretty filled pretty quickly? So I'm gonna be packing my steamer so I can steam before shows. Are you seeing, like barely. My scarf for before and after shows. I get really sweaty during the shows and when I come out, I, I'm like wet from the sweat and the cold air hits my back. And I'm just, my throat is just so sensitive and I have to take such good care of it while I'm here. So I like to just have myself so wrapped up in scarves. So this will be me in the middle of summer in Los Angeles trying to protect my vocal cords. <laughs> but it actually does make a difference. This is like actually no joke. It really does affect you. And at least it does to me personally, aggressively. I can't wait to move into the theater, see the backstage of it all, as well as the dressing room setup and just like the hallways and just that vibe of what it feels like to be backstage. It's gonna be so cool. Okay, I'm practicing my set reading with my music from the show. And this is what I just came up with. <laughs> I'm so shy. Can't wear something. 